Good morning, everyone. Um, welcome to this press conference, and let me start by apolog apologizing for the delay. We try to do our best to organize our press conferences, obviously, as timely and correctly as possible, but unfortunately, we encountered uh, a couple of delays. But here we are, so I would suggest we directly delve into the area for which you have tuned in, which is the communication of the Commission on Short-Term Health Preparedness for COVID-19 Outbreaks. We'll have some introductory comments by Vice President Skinas and by Commissioner Kiriakides, after which I will open the floor to you. I would like to invite you to focus your questions on the areas which we will discuss now. Should you have any other questions, then I invite you to keep them for the uh, college readout, which will follow after this press conference. Vice President. Thank you. Um, let me start uh, by saying that we now know more about the virus. We know more about its impact, but we don't know everything yet. Our duty is, remain, is to remain vigilant and preventive. And this is an opportunity uh, that we're having today with this communication to plan ahead in the next two, three months and to avoid improvisation. The set of measures we are presenting today aim to counter further event eventual outbreaks of COVID-19. We draw on the lessons of the past months and we're reinforcing our preparedness on all fronts, preserving the single market, its freedoms, and facilitating the path towards social and economic recovery across the Union. The virus is still with us and is still expanding in several regions worldwide. Within the EU, there are some focalized and well-identified outbreaks where action is being deployed to ensure they remain under control. In the last uh, four months, public health measures helped bring the pandemic down to a level manageable by our national health systems, which in turn allowed for the progressive lifting of many restrictions and the resumption of most activities across Europe in this very atypical European summer. A range of measures has also been introduced at EU and national levels to mitigate the social and economic impacts of the pandemic and kickstart the economic recovery. And you all, of course, know that our leaders are meeting on Friday to seal uh, hopefully, this uh, historic uh, an agreement around our historic proposal of the 27th May on the next generation EU. So, this current period now of lower transmission rates is for the EU also an opportunity to reinforce our capacity of response. So, today's proposal that we will uh, uh, present together with the Commissioner set out action that need to be taken to avoid a generalized lockdown or a wave of generalized lockdown in case of a second wave. We don't want the most vulnerable parts of our population to suffer, again, from social distancing and inequalities in access to health relief. We don't want to see economic recovery and social life be cut off again. We don't want to limit the freedoms in the single market. But what we do want is to have a clear framework of what actions we need, to be take, we need to take to ensure that our economy and society continue building resilience. And what actions can we take together, our member states, to manage orderly, efficiently, and in a coordinated way, any new outbreaks? So our proposal, which Commissioner, Stil um, Commissioner Kriakides will spell out in detail shortly, has three main focuses. First, it stresses the need for coordination. We will never get tired to make this point. Since actions converged, the situation, of course, got better. And this is the approach we want to apply in the future. We do not want to see the lack of coordination that we uh, uh, that governed the initial reaction of our member states at the beginning of the pandemic. Second, we put emphasis on inclusiveness. Specific measures are foreseen to address the situation of vulnerable individuals and ensure preparedness that embraces all people in the EU. And thirdly, 
with our proposals today, we are aiming at uh, reducing risks linked to the coexistence of COVID-19 with the seasonal influenza as of uh, next fall. You know that this will be the first time that these two cycles will coincide, and our focus is on due organization of health facilities and immunization programs to ensure that efficient performance of health systems take into account this uh, coincidence uh, that we'll have for the first time next fall. We are also strengthening uh, contact tracing uh, capacities, including at local level and through mobile applications. Our colleague Thierry Breton uh, introduced to the college and the college approved today a set of criteria for ensuring interoperability between the different tracing apps uh, being developed. And we are confident that efforts will continue at global levels to ensure effective prevention, preparedness, and response to health, stress, uh, to health threats at the international level, as it is obvious that this virus does not stop at the EU borders. Thank you. Thank you. Commissioner? Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, first of all, may I also um, express my apologies at uh, keeping you waiting in this uh, 